Hey YouTube, it's Gina, and I'm back today with a prophetic message. Um, the Lord has been really coming to me, you know, and telling me a lot of things and giving me tons of downloads. And the other day, or let's say about a week ago, you know, I usually don't look at the clouds too often, right? I usually don't, you know, look up at the sky like a lot. It's just not something I usually do. And something was like, oh, you know, look at the sky. Start like doing videos of the sky. Start taking pictures of the clouds. So I started taking pictures of the clouds, right? And pretty much, basically, there's a lot of faces in these clouds. Like I'm saying, a lot of dead faces, like a lot of skeleton faces, a lot of horror kind of faces. And I feel like these faces is people that have passed away or have died of an untimely death, right? And I was getting that, you know, God wanted me to see these things. He's like, I want you to know this. I want you to be able to see what I see or what other people cannot see. So it's kind of alarming, you know, it's kind of scary. But at the same time, if you have faith, you know that you're okay and you're protected, 444, Archangel Michael. So because of that... I was like, wow, you know, it was really intriguing in a way. It was kind of like so different. And it's like, this has been going on for however long it's been going on, right? But it's like, for me to just now be noticing it, like whenever I see smoke or somebody burning something like at a fireplace or a fire pit or a camp, like going camping, and I see faces in the fires and like faces in like the clouds, the smoke, and it's not normal. Like... And that's how you know God's return is near because of the simple fact it's a dark world that we live in. There was absolutely nothing in the sky that was pretty. You know, like I seen an angel. I asked God, I said, God, why do I keep seeing all these evil faces and demonic entities in the sky, right? Why can I can't see nothing good, right? I asked God, I said, show me something good. Let me know that there is good still here. So the next day, I videoed the sky, and it was a massive angel looking down with her wings up. And I started crying. I was like, wow, this is crazy how I see just this one cloud that's in the form of an angel. And it, it is just like, it took over a lot, you know? And it was so vivid where you didn't even have to try to make out what the clouds are. You can tell what it was. And it came in its fullest form. And I felt like, you know, I was like, um, you know, thank you, God. Thank you for showing me that. Thank you for letting me know that, you know, there is still some good out here. Because what I've been seeing lately is not good. And this world is definitely coming to an end. And a lot of people are not trying to be close to God because they feel like he's not real or they feel like they're far, they're too far gone. But God wants to let you know that it's never too far. It's better late than never. You know what I'm saying? It's better for you to get closer to him now than never is what he's telling me. And I feel like a lot of people are trying to project their problems onto you or make you feel like you're the bad person or you're the bad guy, but that's not true. It's the fact that these people don't want to change and they've seen that you've changed and they've seen that you are on a spiritual journey and these people are wanting to take you off this journey. Like there are so many people that have a coven over your life. Like you wouldn't even imagine. These people are more worried about your destiny than you are. They try to claim your destiny before you, but nobody can take away from you what God has planted, right? And I'm also getting... Like people that want to try to tear you down to build themselves up is only hurting themselves more in the long run as well, right? And I feel like a lot of people want to come back to you because they see that you're destined to be great. At first, these people were trying to breadcrumb you, you know, give you here, here, like bits and pieces of stuff, right? But, excuse me, confirmation. Oh, excuse me, confirmation. But these people want to breadcrumb you. But now they're seeing you're like a queen rising or a king rising. So now these people want to come in and be your friend, offer you things. Like people that you didn't even think 
would even come back around. It's like, oh, hey, what's up? You know, want to hang out? Can I buy you this? Can I buy you that? That's a bait of the devil. That's the devil's messenger. The devil is sending these people to you. And God is allowing the devil to do this because God is testing your faith right now. God is testing you to see if you are prepared for what's next or if you're still stuck in the past. Thank you for tuning into this message with Empress Intuition. I love you all. Love, peace, and light.